So I'm Jill Holden, I'm the Principal Officer for the Early Childhood Unit and I'd like to welcome you on behalf of the National Children's Bureau to our Learn Explore debate event. Um, as you may know, NCB delivers these events in our capacity as the Department for Education's Early Years Stakeholder Engagement Party. And through these events, we bring together a really, really wide range of people from early years practitioners to academics, to local authorities, independent consultants. Um, and I can see from, from the list of attendees today, we've got a huge range of people here, which is just fabulous. And we're really pleased you're all able to be with us today. So this is the second round of events that we've delivered virtually. And while, as I just said, we'd much rather be uh, meeting online, uh, meeting in face-to-face -face rather than online, um, we're really glad that we're able to, to bring this, uh, this um, opportunity to you. But we do miss that, being able to come together in person. I'm sure it's not escaped anybody's awareness that yesterday was the one year anniversary since we went into the first national lockdown and what was the beginning of a really challenging year, she says with a huge understatement. Um, you know, we never could have anticipated what was ahead of us at this time last year, um, perhaps just as well, uh, but it has been a really difficult year. So your work, everybody in keeping provision open for key worker children and vulnerable children throughout that very first lockdown and then reopening to all children and then keeping provision open for all children throughout subsequent lockdowns has just been immense and we believe this has been nothing short of heroic effort from everybody and we hope the whole nation will come to recognize that as such. We know how tired you must all be and also the fact that so much uncertainty about the future still remains. So on behalf of the National Children's Bureau, I want to say a huge thank you to all for all your work to protect and support children and your colleagues at this really difficult time. We also want to recognise the hard work of officials in the Department for Education and of course across government who've been working flat out to provide the sector with the latest information and guidance. So if we can just move on to this next slide here, that tells you a little bit about the National Children's Bureau. So NCB brings together people and organisations. Uh, we believe in bringing people together, a convener of others, as it were, um, for the purpose of driving change in society um, in order to deliver a better childhood across the UK. We care passionately about high quality, inclusive early years and as such are champions for early years professionals and the fabulous work that they all do. And like I said, we believe that, you know, partnership work and collaboration is at the very, very heart of all we're doing. And that's a partnership with children, parents and professionals. So this next slide here tells you a little bit about our role as the Department for Education Strategic Early Years Partner. So we deliver the latest information on early years policy to the Foundation Years community. And we strive to create opportunities such as these events to facilitate a healthy debate between the Department for Education and the sector for policy and practice improvement. So you can see on the slides here and in the chat how you can find us on the Foundation Years website and social media channels. And uh, thank you, Alison's just, uh, Celeste, sorry, has just posted that in the chat for us there. Um, so we'd um, be happy to invite you to subscribe, uh, join our mailing list if you haven't done so already. I am guessing that the fact that a lot of you are here today that you might already know about those things. Okay, so on the next slide here is a little bit about uh, today's um, theme for the day. Is the next slide there working again, yeah? Oh, and the next one. So uh, three hours long, these events are much shorter than the normal ones we do when we're face to face. And we know um, we've done that because we know it's a challenge being on screen for too long. And we also understand the huge pressures on your time at the moment. So uh, today's agenda is focused on um, supporting earlier settings to implement the revised early years foundation stage. Um, and items have been developed based on feedback from the Foundation Years community. So I just want to acknowledge a big thank you there to everybody who takes the time to, to fill in evaluation forms or to get in touch and tell us the, the real, the items that are sort of you'd like on the agenda because they're really real to you and things that you feel you need more support in. That really helps them planning. So thank you so much. Um, you've all had the agenda in advance, uh, so I won't go through it in detail. You can see it, some headlines here on the screen. We've tried to include a mix of presentations. So we've got some case studies from frontline practice and also chance to discuss and connect with one, each other in, one another in some groups. Um, and we're really hoping that you will uh, enjoy today's event. 
We will have a Q&A session uh, following DfE and Ofsted's presentation. So if you have any questions on their presentations, <clears throat> excuse me, please um, do pop these in the chat box um, during their presentations. And this will help us to look at how we can group similar questions together. Um, we may have more questions than we have time to answer. Unfortunately, we've got such a packed agenda today. Um, so, but please do rest assured, we'll save all of the questions in the chat and, um, and keep a track of those. And any that we weren't able to answer, we'll make sure we pass on uh, to DfE and Ofsted um, so that we can find ways of answering those for you. So technical instructions, just a bit of a, a heads up here. Um, you should have already received a Zoom guide in your reminder email, and that includes some information on some of the functionality of Zoom. So it includes how to change your name. So it says uh, Jill Holden, obviously your name, not mine, um, instead of iPhone 27 or whatever it might be. Um, and also it tells you about how to participate in breakout sessions, but I'll give you a bit more information about that as we get to that point. We'd please ask that you keep your microphone muted and your video turned off during the main session. It just really helps us uh, not to get any feedback and background noise uh, so that everybody can hear properly. But when we get to breakout sessions, if you are able, please do turn on your camera and microphone. Um, that's really shown us that that helps people with, uh, with networking. So, uh, in your menu at the bottom of your screen, you should see the chat button. I can see, I think lots of you have found it already. So if you click on that, it'll open a pop-up of the chat. So you can talk to each other, you can share links to good practice, you can ask us the questions. What I would suggest is if you see something there that's a link to a resource or anything like that you'd really like, and um, we'd encourage you to either make a quick note of it or to cut and paste it into a Word document or a, or a notes on your phone or whatever. Um, so you've got that to keep. We are recording all of the presentations and once uh, all the events are over, today is our fifth and final event, um, we'll be circulating those and they'll be uploaded to the, um, the website. However, do just please bear with us and give us a, a day or so to get those uh, uploaded and saved and onto the website. Um, we're not recording the breakout rooms, um, but we'll talk about those later. And if you have any access requirements, please privately message one of the NCB staff. So you'll see there, the NCB staff are in with their, um, their email address on the, on the chat box. So there's, there's Alison there, who's also magically, very kindly posted her, um, her email address there if, uh, if you're having any problems. So my final slide here is if any of you are great Twitter friends, um, here is our hashtag. So if you'd like to join the conversation on Twitter today, the hashtag is LED events. And if you'd like to tag us, it's at Foundation Years. <laughs>